guys and welcome back. This video is going to be a date night get ready with me type of video. This is also the same makeup look from my most recent Quick Tip Tuesday video. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Of course, we're gonna be starting off in the shower and anytime I have a date night with Kyle or have any sort of big event coming up, I love to bust out my Frank body scrub. This guy leaves your skin incredibly smooth. It also has almond oil, so it leaves your skin really soft and hydrated and it's also really inexpensive. To prep my hair, I'm gonna be shampooing with my Fido Moisturizing Scalp Exfoliating Shampoo as well as my Fido hydrating hair mask. This is one of those hair masks that you use in replacement of your conditioner. Once out of the shower, I'm going to start off by styling my hair. I'm going to clip about half of it up onto the top of my head because my hair is really thick. It's also really dry, frizzy, and curly just so you guys know what my hair type is. And I'm going to be starting off by mixing these two Fido products together. The first one is the straightening balm. It really relaxes and smooths out my hair and the second one is an all-in-one treatment. I'm gonna work that into my hair, especially the ends. And whenever I blow dry my hair, I always make sure that this nozzle is attached to the end of my hair dryer because if I don't use it, I end up looking like a poodle. And I also always use a round brush like this guy to make sure I'm really straightening and smoothing out my hair when blow drying it. Once the bottom half of my hair is dry, I'm going to take down the top half and repeat that same straightening balm and treatment in my hair. But I'm also going to add this 24K volumizing spray to the roots at the top of my head to give that extra bit of volume. Not that I really need it because my hair is so thick, but I really do love the extra little boost that this spray gives. I'm going to massage that spray into the roots of my hair and then again I'm going to blow dry my hair straight except for when I get to the top of the head, I'm actually gonna be blow drying in an upward motion to give that extra bit of volume. Now that my hair is completely dry and I look crazy, I'm gonna spray my hair with my KMS Free Shape 2-in-1 Styling and Finishing Spray. This is just gonna really hold whatever style I put into my hair. I'm gonna be using my Numi Titan 3 wand. This is the biggest barrel that comes in the set to add some natural waves and body to my hair. Some tips for curling your hair are make sure that you're always curling away from the ear to give a really natural wave. And also don't loosen up the curls when you're done. Let them just rest on your head and then at the very end when they're all done, we're gonna shake them out. Once you're done curling, your hair should look similar to this. So now I'm just gonna run my fingers through each section to shake them out and loosen up the waves. The ends of my hair always tend to look a lot drier than the rest of my hair. So at the very end, I like to go in with my 24K dry oil and just run it through the ends to give them a shinier, more hydrated look versus looking like straw. And the hair is Done. Now I'm just going to shake up the roots to add some lift and volume and move on to makeup. There are two new skincare items that I've been trying out that I fell in love with. The first is this Pixi Glow Tonic. It's a toner containing glycolic acid. I find that it really smoothed out my skin, gave it a brighter appearance, and then just look at all the extra dirt that came off my skin. Gross. The second one is this Glycelin Moisturizer. I already owned the exfoliant from this brand and had to try the moisturizer because I heard so many good things about it and it left my skin feeling amazing. Finally, I'm prepping my lips with my Bite Agave Lip Mask before going in with makeup. Because this is a date night, you want to use your favorite foundation or the one that you feel the most comfortable in. I'm going to be using my Aqua Foundation from Kogendo. I'm applying it to the area around my brows first before filling them in. I'm also going to set that area with a tiny bit of my RCMA No Color Powder, thank you Kathleen Lights, so that the brow pencil doesn't slip around in that area when applying it to the brows. To fill in my brows, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. I'm going to be using two different eyeshadow bases for this eye look, starting off with Benefit's Air Patrol. I'm going to apply this one from the brow bone down to the crease to help prevent any crease. 
creasing because I'm also going to be using NYX's liner and smudger in brown on the eyelid for that perfect smoky eye. Finally, I was able to get my hands on the Morphe 35O palette. So I'm gonna start off with this shadow right here and I'm gonna pack that onto the lid using a Zoeva 227 brush. Next, I'm applying this lighter color. I wish I could give off the names of these shadows, but I tried flipping the palette over to see where the names or numbers were and they're pretty much stuck in their pans. So. That's that. I'm applying this color to the crease using a Smith 230 brush. To darken up the crease a little more and create that perfect transition from dark to light, I'm going in with this color and that same 230 brush and applying it right in between the color that's on the lid and the one that we previously applied in the crease. And now I just picked up a Smith 232 brush to blend out these shadows. And I'm just going back in with that first eyeshadow and repacking it onto the lid to intensify the color using that same Zoeva 227 brush. I'm going to be using a black cold pencil to create a really soft smudged out winged liner. I would have used my L'Oreal Carbon Black Liquid Pencil Liner, however I could not find it for the life of me before starting this tutorial. So instead I'm using this one from Giorgio Armani, however I feel like the L'Oreal one is a lot easier to use, so keep that guy in mind when creating this soft winged liner. And basically what I'm doing is applying the cold pencil first, section by section, and then smudging it out with the smudger on the other side before the liner has a chance to dry to create that really soft effect. And for those of you who were demanding more Mika in my videos, surprise, here she is, sleeping. I know, isn't she just the most graceful dog you've ever seen? <laughs> to give a really healthy glow to the skin, I'm using my Glow Maximizer Primer from Dior. I'm gonna apply that all over except for the T-zone because in that area, I'm gonna be using my Benefit Professional Matte Rescue Primer to help control any oil so I don't get shiny throughout my date night. Once those primers have had a chance to set, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Kogendo Aqua Foundation all over my skin. I'm first applying it with my fingers and then blending it out with a beauty blender. Instead of using a concealer, I have been loving my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick for a concealer and highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that underneath the eyes, center of the forehead, bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow and chin, and then again blend it out with a beauty blender. I'm also going to use that foundation stick and a Sigma F75 concealer brush to clean up the wing. And before moving on, I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything with my RCMA No Color Powder and a Beauty Blender. Now I'm just going to repeat the same steps that are on the crease to the lower lash line, starting off with this shadow. I'm applying it to the lower lash line using a Sigma E45 brush.
And then to define the lower lash line and almost make it look like eyeliner, I'm using this color and I'm applying it really close to the lash line using a Morphe M213 brush. To amp up my lashes, I'm applying the Kiss Trio lashes and also their Real Mascara from Benefit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze it up using my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion and a Smith 118 brush. I'm also gonna be using that exact same brush to apply my highlighter. I'm using the Dior Glowing Gardens highlighter in the shade Glowing Nude. And I'm again gonna use that brush one last time to apply my blush. I'm using the Tarte 12 Hour Blush in the shade Exposed. I'm going to set my brows in place using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I'm also going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eyes using that same Dior highlighter and a Luxie 205 brush. To finish the look, I'm going to be filling in my lips with ColourPop's Lip Pencil in Grunge and dabbing on my Extreme Butter Gloss from NYX in the shade Cookie Butter. And it's finally time to get dressed. Everything you're seeing here from head to toe is from Forever 21. I wanted to pick items that were easily accessible to most of you guys, as well as budget friendly. The only thing that is not budget friendly is my favorite fragrance, which is Santal number no. 33 from Le Labo. This was a gift from Kyle, so I'm giving myself a spritz of this guy before heading out the door. But of course, feel free to use whatever fragrance is your absolute favorite. And that completes this look. Happy Valentine's Day from me and Mika. I love each and every single one of you guys and I hope you have an amazing holiday. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you see you in the next one. Bye guys.